All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Monday Momentum. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice in it and be glad. I apologize. I don't know why uh, my screen. I'm not sure if my camera is cracked or something. Uh, has a bit of a blur to it. But good morning. Good morning to you. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that the favor of the Lord is upon you that you've awakened with new joy new strength new tenacity new favor new excitement for what the week holds prophet chestnut so good to see you brother missionary kim good morning tamara good morning ep guy good morning to you tamara minister cc susan chris angela tona joyce uh, good morning good morning excuse me good morning to all of you 15 of you are on but we know we can do much better than that so let's go ahead and tag let's go ahead and share with somebody and let them know that we are on to start our week with intentionality with intentionality good morning missionary divana uh, deacon cliff good morning to you shamar good morning good morning good morning you know at least two people <laughs> you know at least two people that you love enough to let them know that we are on this morning for monday momentum deborah greer my uh craig hayes and united voices family amen amen so glad to see you on this morning uh, this is the day the Lord has made, and we're excited about it. Chris and Helen Holmes, good morning to you. Uh, go ahead and put your city, put your state in the comments. Uh, I'm going to talk to you for just a few minutes, and then we're going to uh, pray this morning, as we always do. And uh, the Lord has put in my heart to open up this space a bit to um, not only have us to pray going forward, but to give you uh, tips, tools, and tactics that will help you to be whole, um, both in kingdom and in marketplace and in relationships. And so we're gonna be expanding that space more and doing that more often. Martinsburg, West Virginia, Newark, Delaware is in the building. 18 of you are all, let's continue to like, tag and share, share it in your groups, share it with your family. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and uh, copy that link and send it out to somebody. Pemberton, New Jersey, uh, Lake Valley in the house, <laughs> born and raised, uh, Washington, DC is in the room. Listen, as I was preparing this morning, I went back to something that I've been saying to uh, to you all. I don't know what that's about. Um, I went back to something that I've been saying to you all uh, for quite some time. And that is that the plan of the enemy in this season, Pastor Kerry in Bowie, Maryland, good morning to you. The plan of the enemy right now is to wear the saints out with back-to-back -back attacks and tactics. And we've got to be praying now more than ever sister susan missed you yesterday praying for you love you pemberton new jersey uh, is in the building once again crofton maryland is in the building columbia south carolina angela rabbit a faithful uh, virtual member of hope city empowerment church is on this morning um and so it's important that we seek the lord in prayer um, the scripture came to me this morning from luke 22 verses 31 um through 32 and it says this, it says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I pray for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Uh, this happens during a time where uh, Peter the Lord is, is, is foretelling of Peter's betrayal of him, but the context of which he said becomes strength for us this morning, that for each of you who are watching this morning, the desire of Satan is to have you and to sift you as wheat. But my prayer for you, even as the father said to Simon Peter, my prayer is that your faith fail you not, that your faith fail you not. McGuire Air Force Base, Laurel, Maryland, DC, Baltimore. I see you, Pastor Selena, Pastor Moore. I see you, Minister Donna, Minister Keegan. Your faith fail you not. I want to just very quickly recap uh, just a few things uh, from yesterday. We had two power packed services uh, at Rama Christian Center, DC. The Lord moved up in Marlboro, Pastor Belton. Yes. Uh, the Lord moved tremendously yesterday morning at Raymond Christian Center in D.C. And then we got on the road and made our way uh, some 
two hours and 55 minutes to Hope City Empowerment Church and the power of God fell tremendously. Sylvester, so glad to see you, a part of our Raymond Christian Center band, lead guitar, yes sir. Uh, the power of God moved tremendously um, and, and, and two things came to mind from each service yesterday. Um, yesterday morning at Raymond Christian Center, and while I'm talking, continue to share and tag 27 of you are on. Um, we finished part two of a message entitled Without Fail, You Shall Recover All. Uh, from the scripture out of 1 Samuel, uh, where David inquires of the Lord after his home and his family are destroyed, he inquires of the Lord what he should do. And the Lord says, Pursue, for without fail, you shall recover all. And in that were our instructions for how to bounce back from devastation, how to bounce back from loss, how to bounce back from calamity. David comes back and his home is burned down. Uh, the, the wives and, and children of he and his men have been taken. Something has been taken from him. But when he inquires of the Lord, the Lord says to him, pursue and overtake for you shall recover all. And we, we pulled out some of the buzzwords in that, that scripture, that pericope, uh, pursue, overtake, and recover. I want to say those words to you this morning. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what circumstance has hit your life. I don't know what you're navigating. But the Lord says to you this morning, pursue, overtake, and recover. He doesn't just say recover, though. He says, without fail, you shall recover all. I want to prophesy over your life even as I did yesterday morning to the saints of God, I am decreeing and declaring that this is a fail proof season for you. I am decreeing and declaring over your life that this is a fail proof season. What does that mean? It means that everything you touch, everything you do, everything you go after, everything you pursue, everything you put your mind to, the Lord says is going to work this time. I need at least 12 of you to put in the comments, this is a fail proof season. Not only that, but I'm decreeing and declaring that past seasons that came in your life that you didn't manage well or circumstances did not align properly and you started something and then had to end it or you put your mind to something and it didn't work out or you got something and you lost it. I'm decreeing and declaring that this is going to be a fail proof season for you, for the faithful, for the believers, for those who are trusting God for anything. God says this is going to be a fail proof season. When you go after the next thing, when you do the next thing, when you pursue the next thing, the Lord says to you this morning, he says, not only will you pursue and overtake, but without fail, you shall, you shall recover all. Not only is it a fail proof season, but it's a season of recovery. It is a season of recovery. And not that you're going to recover old things that have gone away, but it's going to be a season for you to do some things again. God is going to bring some opportunities back around. He's going to bring even some connections back around that you may not have been in the right mindset or you may not have been mature enough or you may not have been healed enough to manage it and steward it and deal with it. But the Lord says to you today to encourage you, to let you know that you are in a fail-proof season and you are in a recovery season. And he that has began a good work in you is going to perform. It. This is the last time that you get something and lose it. I decree and declare, I don't even care if you're in the midst of it right now. This is the last time that you put your mind to something and you've got to withdraw from it and you've got to pull back from it. God says, pursue and overtake and without fail, you shall, you shall recover all. I'm decreeing and declaring that. And you've got to be intentional. You've got to be intentional in this season. You've got to have intentional thoughts and intentional motives and be intentional about where you spend your time and who you're around and what you do because you are in a season where God wants to perform in your life. 
You are in a season where God wants to perform. 30 of you are on, and I want you to hear that, where the Lord wants to perform his best work in your life. And here's what's so amazing about our God, that the things he's going to do in your life are not even fully contingent upon you having crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's. But the Lord says for some of you that he's going to do it for his name's sake to prove to the world that he is God and even to you to show you that he's a God that above all, in all, and through all can do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. God wants to perform. Can you just, can you just give God that authority this morning? Can you just provoke God to move in your life and just put in the comments, God perform in my life. Come on, come on, throw that in the comments. God, perform in my life. Do your best work in this season. And where the enemy has come in and, and run havoc and where the enemy has come in and, and tried to talk to my mind and tried to mess with my family and mess with my home and mess with my job and mess with my vehicle and make me believe that I'm gonna be in this never ending cycle and that things will not shift and change. I decree and declare, God, I need you to perform in my life. I back up, I take my hands off of it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna be frustrated, but God, I'm going to release my hands from it and say, God, do your best work in this season. Do your best work in this season. And so we shared that word yesterday morning at Raymond Christian Center and then uh, yesterday afternoon at Hope City Empowerment Church, the word of God, I mean, the presence of God uh, felt so tremendously. Uh, we did not even get a chance to get to the word. Our overseer was going to preach, but the power of God fell and the prophetic word of God came and uh, we decreed and declared new territory. We decreed and declare new territory. And I want you all to be able to get in on that prophetic word so much so that we pulled out our keys. Where is Hope City at that can talk back in the comments uh, to decree and declare that for those of us who are looking for new territory, new property new homes, new zip codes, that the Lord is going to do it. Uh, very seldom uh, do I get in the vein of, of just prophesying about houses and cars. We decree and declare, but very rarely do I get in, in the vein of of, of, of really hammering that in. But yesterday I felt a release in the spirit realm for new territory. I felt a release. Yes, Hope City, drop them keys in the comments. And those of you that were watching online as well, I know some of our Rainbow family was on, but I felt uh, an anointing, a release for new territory. And I'm decreeing and declaring for those of you who want it, God is going to do it. God is going to do it. And watch this. It's not going to be contingent even upon your credit score. It's not going to be contingent upon those things. See, the enemy wants you to become analytical with prophecy. His desire is to make you believe that the prophecy is not going to work, that you are an exception to the prophecy, that it's for everyone else but you. But I'm the Deco Shammai, Rebaka, hallelujah. I'm decreeing and declaring that for some of you, you need to begin packing now. You need to be uh, consolidating now because not many days hence, the Lord is going to shift you. Even for some of you, before the end of the year, you're going to be a new territory. And I heard the Lord say very clearly, do not settle, but exactly what you want, the Lord will do it. Do not dumb down, don't water it down, but go for what you want. Whether you believe that you can do it or have it or not, God wants to blow your mind. See, here's the thing about God, that when God does something, Lawrence, so glad to see you, man. When God does something, he does it as the scripture just said, exceeding abundance above all you can ask or think, which means that what God wants to do is he wants to take what you ask for and he wants to exceed that. He wants to take where your mental capacity is and he wants to exceed that. But you've got to do your part. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So you can't just sit and, and pray about it. Once you pray, you've got to get up and go looking. You've got to go and fill out some applications. You've got to go and, and begin to consolidate and pack and prepare for the blessing. Somebody help me just help me just encourage somebody in the comments and just put in there, prepare for the blessing. You've got to prepare now for where you are going. We've been saying in Bible study, uh, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, where were we saying that? I think we might have been saying, yes, in Bible study, that every decision you make, hear what I'm going to say to you. Every decision you make, Latanya, every decision you make, Chris, every decision you make, uh, uh, Deborah, uh, you've got to make it with your future self in mind. <laughs> we decree and declare healing in Jesus' name. We decree and declare it, Christopher. 
You've got to make every decision now with your future self in mind. You've got to live now like you're going to live when you get the home. You've got to prepare now. You've got to consolidate now. Angela says, Apostle, it's crazy. Uh, he just moved me today. I'm about to throw this phone. <laughs> My car is next. We decree and declare it. We decree and declare it. The Lord says no good thing. Hear me. He says no good thing will I withhold from you if you walk upright. The only prerequisite, man, the only, hear this, saints of God, the only prerequisite for this next blessing is that you walk according to his will. He says, I've got the rest. He says, I've got the rest. And as you begin to walk according to his will, he's going to release blessings to you. If, if you are one of those individuals, you saw some, some doing it already, but if you're one of those individuals who, who is looking for God to shift you, you want to be a new property, you want to be a new territory, you want to be a homeowner, you want to elevate wherever it is, you're a business owner and you need uh, space for your business, I want you to drop some keys in the comments. I want you to drop some keys in the comments. I want you to drop some keys in the comments. And we're believing God by faith that he's going to blow our minds. Oh, my God. He's going to blow our minds. Somebody needs to put that in the comments. Lord, blow my mind. Lord, blow my mind. We're believing it by faith. And so I just want to encourage you and reemphasize, love your other little, uh, those, those nuggets, those moments from yesterday's worship experience. And I'm believing God the testimonies are rising up. Testimonies are rising up. Testimonies are rising up. Missionary Devana, Minister Keegan, I can't wait to come dance in your new home. Uh, Brandon and Tyra, they hit the floor together yesterday. Amen. I mean, we had a time yesterday. <laughs> uh, I believe in God. I'm believing God. Robin Taylor, the Lord is going to blow your mind. 38 of you are on. And uh, if this is your first time joining us for Monday Momentum, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a place where we seal our day uh, seal our week. Yes, EP. Yes, uh, uh, Sister Pam. Uh, yes, Jaquan. So glad to see you, man. Where we seal our week. The Bible declares that we have authority um, to decree a thing and calls it to be so. And the principle that we teach here is that much of what shows up in our life is contingent upon what we speak or do not speak. When we do not decree over our days and decree over our weeks, uh, we have left heaven void of assignment. Hear that. When we do not decree and declare over our days, David Poindexter, so good to see you, man of God. Uh, we uh, leave heaven void of assignments. We leave angels unemployed <laughs> because the word of God teaches us that there are divisions of angels and there are angels who literally are assigned to you. They are assigned to you to do as you command them to do. And the Bible decrees and declares that the legal system, the governmental system of heaven and earth is that we as believers, we decree and then heaven comes into agreement with us that whatever we bind and whatever we loose, then heaven says now that the authority, the assignment has been given. Now we come into agreement with that assignment and begin to work on behalf of Angela begin to work on behalf of Jacqueline, begin to work on behalf of Cece, begin to work on behalf of Christopher. And so this is a place where we give a room to begin to decree and declare. I want to ask you a question this morning. What do you need from the Lord? And what do you want to see happen this week? What do you need from the Lord? And what do you want to see happen this week? But guess what? It can't just stay in your mind. It can't just be a secret wish in your heart. You've got to speak that thing into the atmosphere and you've got to believe that immediately, instantaneously, angels are beginning to move on your behalf to fulfill the word of God. He is faithful, Lydia, to fulfill. He is faithful, Willie, to fulfill his word. Hallelujah. And the word of God decrees and declares that the blessings of the Lord, they maketh rich and they addeth no sorrow. The word of the Lord declares that he is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. The word of the Lord declares that the that the, uh, all of the promises of God in him, in him are yes, and they are amen. So we're going to pray this morning, but before we pray, we're going to release you to begin to decree and declare over your week. Now, here is the rule. If you see it, 
Uh, the, the normal rule is if you hear it, you can have it. But because we're reading the comments, the rule this morning is if you can read it, you can have it. Which means that as you see your brother and sister decreeing and declaring, if you come, if you are agreeing with that, if it's something that you need, you're going to jump in their comment and you're going to say, I, I agree. You're going to say, I agree. Right now, I want you to begin to flood the comments with your declarations. Come on, Monday Momentum. We know how we do every single Monday. I'll begin. I decree and declare that this is going to be a week of joy, peace, and favor. I decree and declare that my family is covered in the blood of the Lamb. I decree and declare that every need financially, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually is met by the power of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that new partnerships and healthy connections are coming my way. I decree and declare that prosperity is pursuing me and overtaking me. I decree and declare that I am whole mind, body, soul, and spirit. I decree and declare that the weapons of the enemy are defeated and that God is exalted in my life and that this week will end in victory. Come on, you need to follow suit. 41 of you are on on Facebook and YouTube. Some of you, you're, you're in the bed right now watching this, but you need to pick that phone up and you need to begin to text your declaration. You need to text it. Thank you for coming into agreement. Overseer, so glad to see you this morning, Coach Naya. Uh, Tona says, I decree and declare my family is covered. Minister Keegan says, I decree uh, and declare that Devonna Myers and I will take joy in packing for our new home by faith. And then I add that our finances will follow suit because I said so. I'm going to get us some t-shirts. I taught Rayma our, our catchphrase yesterday. Uh, we've got this catchphrase that we've, uh, we've uh, created or developed or adopted uh, that says it's going to happen because I said so, because that's the power God has given me because I can decree a thing and calls it. I can speak to mountains and calls them to be moved. I'm not walking up rough sides of what I can speak to, but I'm speaking to it and telling it to move out the way. Uh, Minister Cece says, Jesus, I come into agreement with your son's healing. Heal and wash him in your blood. Come on, agree with your brother and sister. There's 41 of you are on. Some of you are debating. Some of you are saying, I don't want people to know my business. But if you want to see a change, you've got to do something you've never done before. You've got to get uncomfortable. Robin Taylor says, I decree and declare my son will be healed. I decree and declare my family is covered. I decree and declare my daughter will have a successful first year of college. We come into agreement. David Poindexter, I de decree and declare that business and new advances will come in my life. Uh, Elder Little says, I decree and declare peace in my mind and healing in my body. I am healed. We come into agreement because Elder Little, we need you back at Hope City dancing and shouting, and we need you in the mic leading us in prayer. So we're decreeing and declaring healing in Jesus' name. Amanda Thomas says, I decree I'll stop living check to check. We decree that prosperity will pursue you and overtake you. We decree it in Jesus' name. Donna Parks, I decree and declare a week of victory over my life in Jesus' name. Christopher, I saw your comment earlier. We decree and declare healing to your body, that by the stripes of the living God, that you are healed. By his son, Jesus Christ, you are healed. Uh, Pastor Kerry says, I decree and declare a week of accomplishment and restoration because I said so. My family is healed and whole. We come into agreement. Sister Susan says, I decree and declare my body is already healed. We command that body, the 12 systems, to come into agreement with the will of the Lord. Missionary Kim, I decree and declare that God will be permanent. We decree and declare stability in the workplace, in the marketplace. Lydia, I decree and declare that everything I put my hand to will be successful. I come into agreement with that. Uh, Deborah Greer, uh, Lady Greer says, I decree and declare blessings over my child. She is strong. She is confident. She is blessed and covered by the blood. Chris and Helen Holmes, every need is met mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. Now, listen, this is a dialogue. So as I'm praying, you pray as well. And you begin to decree and declare. 45 of us are on. And the Bible that I read says that one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. What a beautiful thing it is that in a virtual space, we can come into agreement in different cities, in different towns, in different states, even in different countries. We can come into agreement and manifest manifest things in the spirit realm, manifest them. Pastor Belton says, I decree and declare, I am walking in newness of life in Christ because I said so. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Come on, let's begin to pray. Most gracious, everlasting, eternal Father, God of the Bible. Father, we bless you this morning. Father, we give you praise and glory because you're the God that was, you're the God that is, you're the God that is to come. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Mekadesh. We praise you this morning because it's in you that we live in you that we move, in you that we have our very being. You are the God that can do anything but fail. So we bless you this morning. We bless you because you woke us up this morning in our right mind, woke us up with the activity of our limbs and the articulation of speech, woke us up with a mind to praise you. I thank you, Father, this morning for these your sons and these your daughters who have with intentionality made up their mind to find themselves in prayer this morning. I thank you, Lord, that you're honoring our prayer, that you have inclined your ear to us. Father, we thank you this morning because your word declares we can ask anything in your name and it shall be done. So, Lord, we come with power and authority this morning, decreeing and declaring that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But Father, we will not come to you with dirty hands and dirty hearts and dirty minds. For the word of the Lord asks the question, who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? And the response comes back, he that have clean hands and a pure heart. So we say, create in us a clean heart. Father, renew a right spirit in us. Cast us not away from your presence. And Lord, please do not take your Holy Spirit from us. For we need you this morning. We need you this morning, Father. We run after you. We chase after you this morning. Father, we stretch our hands to you because we know no other help. If you would withdraw yourself from us, where would we go? But your word says that we, the righteous, we can run into your name and we are safe. For in the secret of your tabernacle, you shall hide us. And when the wicked, even our enemies and our foes come upon us, they will stumble and and fall. So, Father, we thank you that you are a strong tower, a mighty God. You are a great God. You are a battle axe this morning. You fight for us. You are the God of war this morning. So, Lord, we praise you that you are the I am. You are everything that we need you to be all at the same time. You are omnipresent. You are omnisufficient. You know the end before the beginning. So, Lord, this morning in thee do we put it. Okay, yeah, so we put our trust. Father, we've awakened this morning with new joy and new strength and new tenacity and new favor. And we are not dwelling in the residue of last week. We are not dwelling on what did not work and what went wrong. But Lord, this morning we put your word in action and we say forgetting those things that are behind us. Lord, we press this morning. We press into the newness of this day. We thank you, God. This is a day we've never seen. This is a season we've never seen. It's a week that we've never seen. And we thank you, Lord, that the reset button has been set. Yes, Lord. We thank you that we can begin again for your word declares that that your mercies are new every morning. So Lord, we thank you that we didn't awaken this morning even with the condemnation of last week. But Lord, as we come repentant before you, we thank you that the slate is wiped clean. Oh God, we thank you that as we enter the threshold of another week, that the slate has been wiped clean. And Lord, that we have the conscious ability to walk upright according to your will. I thank you that your word declares that there is therefore now no condemnation to us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So Lord, I pray that this week we will put on the mind of Christ. Your word says to us, let this mind be in us that is also in Christ Jesus. I I thank you that you are renewing our minds this week. I thank you, Lord, that every contrary spirit that has illegally entered our minds, uh, thoughts that have illegally entered our minds uh, are being defeated now by the blood of the lamb. But we are speaking wholeness and wellness and totality. We are whole mind, body, soul, and spirit. I thank you that spirits of depression and worry and isolation and anxiety are being defeated now in the name of Jesus. 
I thank you, Lord, that our mind is shifting not to where we are and what we're dealing with, but shifting to where you are taking us. So, Lord, I decree and declare that this week blessings are pursuing us and overtaking us. I pray, Father, for the need of every believer who is logged and tapped into this prayer right now. Father, you know what they stand in need of. I pray for 24 hour turnaround. I pray for supernatural miracles. I pray for mind blowing blessings. I pray for divine healing healing and deliverance. Lord, do it now. Bless their homes. Bless their vehicles. Bless their, their bodies, Lord. Cover their children. I thank you, Lord, that even as we're talking and speaking to you right now, that angels are being dispatched from the corners of the earth and are being dispatched from every corner of heaven this morning. I thank you, Lord, that new opportunities are pursuing us this week. I thank you that new favor is pursuing us. I thank you that those of us who will go to our jobs this week, promotions are coming our way. Uh, atmospheres of peace are surrounding us. Lord, be our protector this week. Cover us with a hedge of protection. Lord, thank you that you're doing it on our behalf. I pray for resolution in every open area. I pray for healing. I pray, Lord, that even those that will go to doctor's visits this week, that, that good reports will follow them. Those who are going to their places of employment, no layoffs this week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No cutbacks this week, but Lord, sustain them. I pray that you'll give increase to them, Father, for every faithful believer and every faithful sower, Lord. I pray that increase will come to them. Lord, I thank you that it's a season of seed time and harvest. I thank you, Lord, that the harvest is coming to them. I decree and declare the Amos 9 and 13 blessing over them, Father. I thank you for increase, Lord, that they will want for nothing. Nothing, every bill paid. Ah, oh, God, I thank you for new activity even in their bank accounts. I, I thank you, Lord, for rebates being released to them, God. Blessings that they weren't even looking for being released to them now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, supersede our expectations this week. God, blow our minds this week. Uh, and we say, Father, we yield. We yield to you. We say, not our will, but your will be done this week. Lord, whatever you want to do, however you want to move, we say, Father, yeah, God, we yield to you. Father, we submit to you this week, Father, and we beat back every contrary spirit, huh? every stubborn spirit that would cause us huh? to wrestle again against what you would have us to do. Father, we beat it back now. We pull down the yokes of bondage, huh? for your word declares that where the spirit of the Lord is, huh? there is liberty. So we thank you for freedom in our mind this week, Father. We thank you that we are not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Huh? but whom the son has set free is free indeed. And we thank you, Lord, that the plan of the enemy is destroyed. We thank you that the doors of brass and bronze heavens, uh, where the enemy has tried to lock us out uh, of blessings and favor, they're being removed off of the hinges. Uh, and we decree and declare, Father, your word, as it is written in the book of Revelations, that behold, you have set before us an open door that no man can shut. You have put before us blessing and not cursing. So we thank you, Father, that every witch, every warlock, every demonic force that would try to come against us this week uh, is cast down by the blood of the lamb. We thank you for angels with swords that are dipped in the blood, that are cutting through every plan, every plot, every scheme that the enemy would devise uh, to take us down this week. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We decree and declare that the weapons we use this week are not carnal, but they are mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank you that we do not operate in fear, Father, but this week we we hold our head up high and we decree and declare that we've got victory in every area of our life. We've got victory in our homes, in our bodies, in our jobs, in our ministries, in our children. We thank you, Lord. And even this week, you are destroying generational curses. We thank you that you're raising up the standard in our life. Oh God, as your word declares that even when the enemy comes in like a flood, Lord, you will lift up a standard against him. So we thank you, Father, that we're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when we come and blessed when we go. We thank you that blessings are pursuing us and overtaking us. We thank you, Lord, that you're releasing like a deluge, a tsunami, a hurricane, an overflow of blessings are coming our way. And Lord, I pray for strength. 
I pray for strength as your word declares that if we be not weary in well doing, that Lord in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I command with apostolic authority due season to pursue us and overtake us. I thank you, Lord, that this week there's no quit in us, there's no give up in us, there is no turning back in us, but we are like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaves will never wither, and Lord, whatever we do shall prosper. I thank you that this is a fail-proof day, a fail-proof week, a fail-proof season, a fail-proof year. I thank you that everything our hands touch will prosper. I thank you that everywhere the soles of our feet shall tread, you have already given it to us. So Lord, illuminate the way. Give us clarity of thought this week. Touch our minds to be able to see as you see. Remove the scales from our eyes, Father. Give us sight beyond sight. Give us hearing beyond hearing, Father. Make our feet like hinds feet to leap over walls, Father, and run through troops. I thank you, Lord, that we are not operating in slowfulness this week. We are not operating in procrastination this week, but the strength of the Lord is upon us. The strength of the Lord, the power of the Lord to tread upon demons and serpents is upon us this week. So, Lord, we go with the joy of the Lord this morning. We begin this week, Father, with joy, not complaining, not worrying, not fearing. But, Father, we begin this week saying that you are God and you are God alone. We begin this week saying that everything we need, all of our needs are supplied according to your riches in glory. And, Lord, in a culture, in a world that would make us believe that this type of praying and this type of worship does not work, Father, we say we still believe. Uh, yes, Lord, we say we still believe. We know that prayer changes things. We know that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So we stand in this, Lord. We stand in this prayer with everything we have, Lord. Lord, we do not mix uh, the world affairs with the things that we know work in the spirit, Father. So we bind even those spirits of sage and transcendental meditation. Lord, you need no help this week. <laughs> Lord, you need no help this week, but you are God all by yourself. You are God. Your blood is enough. Hallelujah. Your name is enough. Your name is enough. Oh God, I feel that your name is enough. Your name is a strong tower and we the righteous, we run into it. Hallelujah. We run into your name, Father. Kings and kingdoms may pass away, but Lord, there is something about your name. So we call the name of Jesus. We call the name that is above every name, the name by which demons tremble, the name by which bodies are healed at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So we command that cancer bows this week to the name. We decree and declare that mental instability bows to the name of the Lord. We decree and declare that diabetes and high blood pressure and liver and kidney issues bow to the name of the Most High. Oh God, the Lamb that was slain, slain to receive glory, slain to receive honor. We decree and declare that the blood prevailed. We decree and declare that the blood prevailed. We apply the blood this morning. Hallelujah. We apply the blood this morning, the blood over our homes, the blood over our children, the blood over our bodies, the blood over our vehicles. We decree and declare there is a blood covering. Lord, smear us. Lord, drown us. Lord, overtake us in your blood, Father, in a world that would make us believe that there are other resolutions and other solutions to the things that we are dealing with. No, Father, we trust in the God of the Bible. We trust in the one that healed. Hallelujah. We trust in the one that that can raise the dead and can heal the blind and, and touch those who cannot speak. Lord, we trust you. You're the same God. You're the God that was and is and is to come. And Lord, you can do it again. Oh God, Lord, you can do it again. So we trust you. So we trust you this morning, Father. We lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, Lord, we acknowledge you. And Lord, we say, lead us. We don't want to be led by our emotions this week. We don't want to be led by our attitudes this week. But Father, we adopt your spirit and we say, Lord, make habitation in us. Rest, rule, and abide in us, Lord. Live in us this week. 
so that our light may shine before men and they would see our good works and glorify you be glorified hallelujah you be glorified in our life and when you do it lord we'll tell the world that this is the lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes so we command a release on in heaven your word says father that as we bind and loose on earth that heaven is coming into agreement so we thank you that this week we've got the backing of heaven Oh God, we thank you. Love you, Bishop. We've got the backing of heaven this week. And we thank you, Lord, that you're not withholding any good thing from us. So we walk according to your will. We walk circumspectly to your will, Father. Guide our feet, align our hearts, talk to our spirit, renew our mind, Father. And I pray for the strength of the Lord to pursue these, overtake them, Lord, in the name of Jesus with strength. Strength to do more, strength to be, strength to go, strength to overcome, strength to have. I decree and declare it with authority this morning that you have given us strength, Lord. Your strength, Father, is even made perfect in our weakness. But Lord, I thank you that you're giving us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You are giving us beauty for ashes. You are giving us the oil of joy for mourning. I thank you that it's a new day, a new season. We command it. We decree it. We call it forth in the name of Jesus. And we command every devil, every witch, every warlock to back up, loose and let go in the name of Jesus. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for testimonies that will rise up, testimonies of healing, testimonies of deliverance, testimonies of breakthrough. I thank you, Lord, that we seal this week. We seal this week. And we say every day this week shall be a good day. Every day this week. And we speak your word that says all things work together for the good because we love you and because we are called according to your purpose. I thank you, Lord, that every day this week, you will get the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we walk in you, we stand in you. It's in you that we live and move and have our very being. Lord, bring us back to our purpose this week. Align us and refocus us. And where the enemy would speak narratives and where word curses would be spoken, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. And we loose your word that says we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are the lender and not the borrower. We decree and declare that we're blessed in the city, the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you. And we bless you. And we say it is so. And it will not be reversed. In the name that is above every name, the name that is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the anointed one. We say amen and amen. Come on, let's just praise the Lord. Come on, let's lift up worship. We decree and declare that it is so, cannot, will not, shall not be reversed in the name, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 49 of you are on right now, and we believe in the power of unity that we're decreeing and declaring in whatever city, whatever state, whatever country you may be in. Pastor Kevin, so glad to see you all the way in Africa on this morning. I want to honor my spiritual father. I see him in the comments. Bishop Stephen Walker, I honor you, Father. Hallelujah. He's a wonderful God. He is a wonderful God. Listen, we're going to sow our seed this morning. And uh, normally we just kind of uh, throw it out there to sow as you choose. We normally sow in, in, in increments of eight. Uh, but this morning, I want you to sow. Um, and I want you to put in, in that memo, uh, fail-proof season. Fail-proof season. F-A-I-L. Fail-proof season. If you did not watch the beginning of this, you need to go back and watch the replay when we get off. But we finished a message yesterday morning uh, regarding David. David asked, inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue after losing his family, losing his children, losing his home? And the Lord said to him, pursue for without fail, you shall recover all. I'm decreeing and declaring a fail proof season. Everything you touch, everything you put your mind to, everything you go after is going to work is going to work because the Lord is with you, is going to work. So we want you to sow your seed this morning. Uh, we are kingdom investors, which means we look for places to put our seed. Every morning, there are individuals. I was just watching on Netflix for the second time, uh, the Bernie Madoff story, a, a man who people were giving him literally billions of dollars to invest. Watch this. They did not know if he was truly doing it they just trusted that he would based upon his track record. 
Oh, come on, come on. Hear this. He was a wealth manager and individual celebrities, uh, 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 the richest people in the world, kings of royal families across the world were sending him millions and billions of dollars. At one point, he had over 5,000 uh, 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 clients and was managing 68 billion, not million, billion dollars. And people would send their money to him, hoping that they would get a return, only to find out that the whole time it was a Ponzi scheme. He wasn't investing their money. He was using their money. And then when people wanted returns on their money, he would take someone else's money that invested and give it to them. They, they never uh, had their full investment. And those people lost everything. Yes, Pastor Moore, they lost everything. But I'm so glad that when I sow into the kingdom, I know that there's a guarantee, according to the word of the Lord, that says, as long as the earth shall remain, there will always, always be seed time and harvest, which means as long as I sow into the kingdom, I can always expect a harvest. I talked to Hope City yesterday about uh, how to how to diversify and and set up their bank accounts, how to invest their money. But part of that investment is also sowing into the kingdom. And so if you wish, this is not a, a bullying place. Kingdom investors do what kingdom investors do. There's a, a hashtag they have, uh, or I see it a lot on social media, and people will say, if you know, you know. I'm going to say that this to you this morning. If you know, you know. And uh, we sow here, and testimonies have risen up. So you can sow your seed, dollar sign, Cam A. Washington. Sow this, this morning for a fail-proof season. This is a season where everything I do, everything I touch, everything I'm a part of is going to work. Listen, I love you all with the love of the Lord. Uh, join us tomorrow night. Missionary Devon, if you can put up Bible study. Join us tomorrow night for E-Church Bible study. We're starting a new series called The Grace to Suffer. Eee! Oh, you need to be there. You need to be there. You need to be there. The grace to suffer. How do I suffer well? What does it mean to suffer well? What are the benefits of going through? Because here's what we know. As long as you live, you're going to go through. But the blessing, I see you other little, the blessing, love you, Brother Willie. Uh, the blessing is in knowing how to suffer well. Bible said, and if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. But in order to get the blessing, you got to do it well. You got to do it well. You got to adopt, like David said, it was good for me <laughs> that I was afflicted. So join us tomorrow night, myself and overseer. Uh, join us for that. And listen, if you have not got your tickets for Celebration Week, Celebration Week is coming up at Rainbow Christian Center. Look at all these mighty men and women of God that are going to be with us as we celebrate uh, the uh, opening of our enterprise center and uh, official installation as pastor of Rama Christian Center in DC. An amazing, amazing, amazing church. And I'm just so grateful. I was just thinking the other day, I'm so grateful for Hope City. I'm so grateful for Rama and how the Lord has meshed us and merged us together as one family and how uh, you all are so willing to share myself and overseer with one another and support. Uh, love you so much. Love you so much. Uh, I want to call you mom, Deborah, because that's how I feel about you, my my United Voices family, love you so much. Thank you for being on with us this morning. Uh, but listen, today is the last day to get the early bird ticket price. So, hey, we talked about money management yesterday. We talked about it today. So save that $15. Go and get your ticket today by going to RaymaDC.org. And that is for the Saturday brunch, which is going to be exciting because we're doing a ribbon cutting to open up our enterprise center. You're going to be able to preview the rooms. It is a full catered event with uh, uh, many muse, powerful music artists who are going to be there. Yes, Bishop, I heard, I heard my Bishop is going to be in the house and he's also preaching that Sunday for us. So uh, please, please, please go and get your tickets. Today is the last day. Bishop John C. Williams, so glad to see you, sir. Pastor Kevin, all the way in Africa. Uh, go and get your tickets today. Um, so many great people are gonna be with us. And then Sunday morning, Sunday morning, the 24th, Apostle Marshall Blackman, uh, is going to be with us, my brother and friend who literally travels the word, decreeing and declaring the word of God. He's going to be with us. Jay Todd is going to be with us. And then that afternoon will be the official installation. And my spiritual father, Bishop Stephen Walker, uh, will be our homilist. 
Bishop Hayward Hamilton is going to be our MC. Sean Tillery and Change are going to be with us. Our dance ministry. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. The brunch, we've got city officials, uh, councilmen and mayor uh, who are going to be with us and, and, and are sending proclamations. So we want you to be with us for Celebration Week. It's going to be a time. It's going to be a time. Listen, I love you all with the love of the Lord. Every day this week, decree and declare, every day this week is going to be a good day. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The good things that God has in store for you. We've got plenty of other announcements, but we will announce them uh, tomorrow during Bible study. I'll see you. Listen, if you have not, subscribe. Uh, it's small, but you can see on the screen. I'm going to start doing my text alerts again. So uh, text the word CW now. It's on the screen. Take a screenshot of it to 844-339-4924. If you want to get updates on what's happening at Rama Christian Center, text the word Rama R-H-E-M-A, one word, to 21,000. If you want to get updates on what's happening at Hope City, text the word, uh, uh, I forgot what it is. Is it Hope City? What What's our, our <laughs> what's our text alert word? I believe it is Hope City. Yes, Hope City, all one word <laughs> to 77948, 77948, Hope City. Hey, there it is. Hope City to 77948. And for Rama's updates, text the word Rama. We got to get that other slide in, in here. I'll send it to you, missionary. Uh, text the word Rama to 21,000. All right. You all be blessed in Jesus' name. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for E Church Bible study.